happy Monday, Left of Awesome and Left of Awesome viewers. <laughs> I'm sure, at the very least, my fellow Left of Awesome-ers have heard some small amount of information about Obama going to Notre Dame and giving the commencement speech. And as I'm, not everyone is aware, but most people are aware of the fact that Notre Dame is the most, or not the most, but the biggest <laughs> Catholic university in the United States. And what I'm not really, I'm not really focusing on the fact that Obama was heckled for being, for uh, expressing sympathies with the pro-choice philosophy, but mainly interest in his actual views on abortion and the reaction to his speech of um, the Catholic power in the area of Notre Dame and in the United States and the way they've like reacted to this. Um, but first, Obama actually was quoted saying, um, abortion, where is it? Here it is. Mr. Obama laid out his views on abortion in clear terms, describing it as a heart-wrenching decision for any woman, which I love the fact that he pointed this out, because that point, that it is a difficult decision, it's not just something you decide you wake up one morning and I think I'll get an abortion today like people don't do that or some people might but not the vast majority of people and this this fact is vastly overlooked by both sides of the spectrum of you know views on abortion the pro-life people are just trying to make you think that you know anyone who gets abortion is like a crazy baby murderer you know and the people who are pro-life just kind of either are unaware of the fact that this would be an argument or they don't think it's a good enough argument or they just pretty much ignore the fact that this argument exists, you know? They act like it's... They focus more on the fact that you should be able to make the decision and they don't try and reconcile themselves at all with the sort of... I guess the people who are sort of in between what they want to say. Um, but that's, I'm glad that he brought that up because maybe the controversy around the speech will sort of bring that subject to light. And the other was the sort of uproar that happened with a bunch of the religious activists and church leaders um, that have been telling the authorities and uh, university authorities um, that Notre Dame is <laughs> betraying the Catholic principle. Um, it says here, It is clear that Notre Dame didn't understand what it means to be Catholic when they issued this invitation. And that was said by Cardinal Francis George, who is the president of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. And Bishop John Darcy of the Dio Dioces, Dioces, I'm not sure how to pronounce that word, uh, where Notre Dame is located, said he would boycott the graduation for the first time in 24 years as bishop. So these people, all because the president said something at the speech, are totally freaking out, and it's not a real Catholic university, and they're betraying the Catholics. And, um, and the thing is, you know, he was heckled, and he was heckled by some students, but there's a there's coverage of there are all these like protesters. But the thing is, more than 100 protesters gathered on 23 March onto the campus on Saturday. The associate, which was reported by the Associated Press, um, police arrested 19 for trespassing and four charged with resisting police. And everyone's been making a big deal about that. And the thing is, none of the like serious protesters who were arrested were even Notre Dame students. So the entire thing is just kind of, I guess, been blown out of proportion in a way. But that's about all. Is I am glad Obama brought that view on abortion into the public eye, and I think it's kind of insane that all of these like Catholic people are like freaking out on Notre Dame because they had the president speak at commencement. <laughs> uh, have a good week, everyone. Goodbye, and don't forget to be awesome.